Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. So like I was saying, I, I, I made a little uh, scheme out of this because obviously this is a very good formation when it comes to running. And I'm going to show you a couple of different run plays as well as one more pass play. So as much as I like that play, this is a very good formation. This is actually a pretty glitchy formation from back in the day. Probably like Madden 16 or 17. Uh, back in the day, the skinny post was a very hard to stop defense. This is also a defense that, or a play that got patched. Uh, that, you know, it just, I'll show it to you real quick. It's a play that you can run, especially against cover three, since that first play was a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit touchy against cover three. Obviously, I showed a great adjustment. But if you are running against cover threes, this is a really good play. We're just going to hit random, though. We're going to hit random play. So the way that this play um, works, you don't really need to do any adjustments. The way that this play worked, and it still kind of does, is when that X route makes his break, the cornerback's usually just sitting on his heels. And if you safe catch, you can steal that all game. So these outside receivers, uh, whether it's the X or the B route right there, I might have threw that a little bit late. But you can see they're just, they're, they're just making plays 15, 20 yards down the field. This is exactly like it was 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, this is the exact same thing. I probably could have caught and ran that. It might have had a touchdown there. Looked like some sort of a double safety blitz. Uh, but I don't even know what the defenses are because it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the, the way that these, these skinny posts are as glitchy as they were five years ago. And you can see how I can just run this in my sleep and kind of just watch for space. Now, right there, it almost looked like he was going to make a play on it. That's why, like I said, I, I typically uh, recommend trying to safe catch these balls just so the ball doesn't come out. I mean, it really doesn't matter 100%. You can see right here I get sacked. Uh, but they were actually would have been gone. That was another weird defense of some kind where the safeties were dropping out of the play entirely. I could have easily made that a home run. Uh, but like I said, boom, look at this. We're just hitting skinny posts all game. Uh, there's no real need uh, to even make reads. You're just kind of watching uh, for space. That's really all it is. I don't even need to know what the defense is running. Right there, though, that was the first time probably threw it a little bit early. Uh, I was getting a little bit confident, getting a little bit nervous from getting sacked that one time. Uh, but you can see how successful um, this, this entire offense can be. And then right here at the B route, we can just wait for that to cross. You can make some really explosive plays if you get a cover one man like that was. Like I said, this entire formation is the throwback formation, and, and that includes the skinny post and the play I'm going to show you next, which is the 0-1 trap. The 0-1 trap was probably uh, way more, uh, I mean, there's four plays in this scheme altogether, but the 0-1 trap was definitely more popular back in the day. Uh, and then the other play is probably the one that gets run the most in, in Madden right now, which is the stretch alert X looky. So between that and the 0-1 the, the trap, you have two plays inside and out. I think the zone weak alert Z smoke is not too bad either. It's a pretty decent run. Uh, but ultimately, you have three run plays that you can run here. So I got three run plays in my audibles. You're just looking for spacing, really. Like right here, I mean, if I want to, I can run uh, the stretch alert X looky because I just feel like there's more opportunity to the outside there. Um, if I want to continue, I can make these motions, try to get that cornerback out of the way. And it's going to look like it's part of the scheme. As you can see right here, I basically just created space to the outside. It wasn't a huge run, but you can see the opportunity. But there's really, you know, three different launch angles. If you have an open space right up the middle, obviously you want to hit the 0-1 trap. If you think they're bunched in too tight, you want to hit the stretch alert looky. And then right here, I mean, the zone weak looks like a good opportunity because there's definitely space right there. So you have three good run plays. You're just looking for spacing and you're looking for holes. I didn't necessarily get a great run play yet, but let's go ahead and let's do that. Like I said, we're going to get something here. So whenever you have a two tight end set like this too, your opponent is typically going to expect you to be running the ball. So that's going to be a perfect opportunity. you got to, you got to play ball control with these run plays before you try to hit the home runs that I was showing you earlier in the video. The pass plays are really where it's at. I'm more of a passing player. You guys probably know that from watching my channel. But you definitely have all the run plays needed here to create a very balanced attack that's going to keep your opponent in the box, going to keep your opponent worrying about the run plays. Whenever you can have your opponent worrying about the run first, it's going to make it even easier to hit those home runs, especially against that cover three, because they're going to be playing up in the box. One more thing before I end this video, though, especially going to come in handy when it comes to the zone weak alert and the stretch alert X looky, is you can flip the play without showing anything. Like right here, no adjustments. No, the offense doesn't change at all. So if your opponent is stacking the box in any particular way and you want to flip it to the other side, the quarterback doesn't even move his head when you make the flip, which gives you a huge advantage. So that's like that with both plays. So you're not going to make any 
uh, any audible signal, any visual signal to the opponent that you just completely changed the play. And that's somewhat similar with the uh, with some of the uh, the pass plays. You can flip the pass plays the exact same way, and they're never going to know that you're making adjustments, which I think is really cool. Once again, like I said, pretty glitchy formation that you can make those adjustments and not tip your opponent off at all. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more from the Niners or the Broncos, which is exactly what uh, what playbook I'm in right now, let me know in the comments section at the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.